Hey there, delighted to be joined by Greg Pallast, uh, investigative reporter for The Guardian, uh, New York Times bestseller, including the best democracy money could buy. And uh, on September 6th, you'll be releasing uh, another film uh, on the latest attacks to the right to vote called Vigilante Inc., uh, America's new vote suppression hitman. Uh, let me actually play uh, the trailer. Uh, it looks actually really incredible, so I'm looking forward to watching it. Here we go. You're telling me 2,600 miles away, two days for an election, that if I want to vote, all I have to do is show up and prove as an American citizen that I have the right to vote again. Is this an attempt to remove to a lot of that Democrats, black people no, from isn't. voting to I win the election? I am far from that, sir. And you have crossed the line. And today to come out and not be able to vote and no one can give you an explanation, like it's extremely emotional and it bothers me. It bothers me to my core. Damn, I gotta get your trailer guy for uh, Status Quo. Um, for, the, for those yeah. that don't know, for those that don't know, this is not your first rodeo. You did amazing reporting on, um, you know, f efforts by Republicans and Bush to steal the election successfully. By the way, in two thousand four, yeah. uh, against uh, John John Kerry at the time, uh, you've done great reporting actually in uh, two thousand, as well as more recently uh, in twenty twenty. Trump complained about so-called election fraud uh, against him, but he and Republicans were also then uh, uh, attempting uh, shenanigans. And also you've done great work on cross-check uh, and that kind of voter suppression. Uh, tell us about um, this film and what is the more recent new tricks you've been finding uh, because they're, they're talking about democracy on the line uh, uh, in the United Center right now. Uh, the Republicans talk about a deep state, but at the end of the day, uh, democracy has kind of been teetering on the line through a lot of what you're finding. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Vigilantes Inc. is the name of my new film. And by the way, if you go to gregpalace.com, um, you can sign up now for to get the film for free on September 13th. And I'm not allowed to uh, release it before September 13th. Um, but you go to gregpalace.com and sign up for it to get a free a free copy of the film. It'll open in Hollywood on September 6th, but uh, public on September in a couple of weeks. So just go to gregpalace.com. You get it from gratis. But Vigilantes Inc., the reason it's called that is that that is the name for the Ku Klux Klan. The Ku Klux Klan incorporated itself in Georgia as Vigilantes Inc. And right now what's happening, and you saw in the film, you saw an African-American soldier whose vote was challenged by this vigilante. This, you know, this, this is the newest, most dangerous thing that's happening. And, and uh, according to Mark Elias, the, who's a great um, voting rights attorney, who said this is the number one threat that no one's talking about, which is that any person, any person can say, you can't vote. I can say, um, well, I can say Barack Obama doesn't really live, is not an American citizen. He shouldn't be allowed to vote. Now, again, this is not government. These are individual self-appointed uh, self vote fraud hunters. But here's the problem. It started out in Georgia with 88 challengers, and they're, uh, they are allowed under Georgia law unlimited, unlimited challenges to the rights of others to cast their ballot. Well, the the, the gentleman you saw saying, I have to prove that I'm a sold, that I'm an American again, this African-American career military officer, he was assigned to California. 
And so these vigilant, this vigilante who you saw with the six gun, the pearl handled six right. gun, that's a loaded gun, by the way. Um, wow. he, he walks around with uh, these uh, six guns with pearl handles, a cowboy hat and boots, pretending he's Doc Holliday. Well, you might think he's a joke, but he's no joke. He's a vice chairman of the Republican Party in Georgia. He challenged 4,000 voters, mostly black soldiers out of Fort Benning in Georgia. So he challenged the rights of 4,000 voters. And so like, for example, the man you saw, the African-American officer you saw, he was assigned to California after the uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. And uh, they challenged his vote. Well, you know what, guess what? When you're a soldier and they switch your military base, you don't lose your vote. You don't lose your citizenship. Even if you're a black soldier, you're not supposed to lose your citizenship. So this is all about that. And the originally, why do I call Vigilantes Inc? Because in 1946, the Klan incorporated itself in Georgia as Vigilantes Inc. And they're back. And that was the entire purpose of the Klan calling itself Vigilantes Inc. was to create a cover so that they could personally challenge using these laws of the South. Uh, that they could personally challenge every single black voter in the state. And they pretty much did that, electing the Klan's strategist as governor of Georgia. So this film goes after that whole story about the threat to the 2024 election. I don't care if you can vote for Trump, you can vote for anyone you want. I'm nonpartisan, but I think it's the voters, not the vigilantes should make that choice. So you can get that film for free. Um, as you saw, uh, we had a preview with Jamie Foxx and he just said, it's a great, great film. Everyone has to see it. Um, it will be, it's narrated by the wonderful Rosario Dawson. It is produced by, um, by Martin Sheen, my favorite president, you know, President Bartlett. Um, and um, it's also, I mean, <laughs> It's not one of these PBS good for you. It's real entertainment. I mean, it's a pretty grim story, but it's it's an entertaining, funny, weird, horrifying film all at the same time. So, and, and can you talk about the legal aspect here? Because it sounds like you don't have to provide any evidence at all uh, well, to support these claims. You're supposed to, but it doesn't ask you for the evidence. It simply says uh, in in these laws in, in uh, well, it's not only Georgia, but now it's moved to two dozen states, mainly the swing states, of course, Arizona, Michigan, Wisconsin, Texas, Alabama, Florida. Um, you can, you just sign a, a statement saying, um, I believe that these people are not proper voting, uh, don't are not proper voters. You're not asked to attach any information or prove it in any, other, in any way. And what they're doing is they're targeting, basically they're targeting young people, black people. That's what it's all about. And Absolutely. so, this, so I should mention that that vigilante you saw with the gun, he personally challenged, personally challenged four thousand voters. The lady in the red dress you saw in the uh, that was screaming at me. She also had loaded guns. She had loaded guns next to the door. She had ammunition stacked up on her bookshelves. Guns all over the place. I'm not making this up. And she personally, are you ready for this? She personally challenged thirty-two thousand voters. Thirty-two thousand voters. One person. She did it with an email. And she got this, this list of 32,000 people from the right-wing group True the Vote that did the film 2,000 Mules, which was launched at Mar-a-Lago. So our film, Vigilantes, Inc., is the anti-2,000 Mules. And uh, I guess the obvious question, because you, you never hear about these stories in the mainstream media. Uh, you barely heard about Crosscheck. It, right. seems, like you, it seems like you're... Uh... <laughs> An, uh, a, a rare species uh, hunting down, no pun intended, uh, these stories. Uh, if democracy is on, the is on the line, how come Democrats aren't talking about this? How come the journalists and the media aren't talking about this? Uh, I, I didn't hear about this till I looked at your trailer. Yes, that's a damn good question. Damn good question. There's There's been a couple little stories in the Times, Washington Post, in the, uh, in the papers, the ruling class papers, um, have mentioned, oh, there's some right-wing groups which are challenging voters, but they don't give you the number. They, you know, literally, I got the list of this woman's 32,000 names. 
Every single one is a legal voter. And if they aren't, they would be arrested. Remember, illegally registering or trying to get, get a, uh, a ballot like the major did his absentee ballot. If you're a fraudulent voter, you've committed a felony crime. They haven't arrested this. In Georgia, 88 vigilantes challenged um, 180,000 voters. No, no one was, uh, was identified as an illegal voter. But these people almost... almost most of them we got back on, but now they've changed the law again to make it harder. So 2024 is going to be bad. The mainstream is uh, obviously is not picking this up. I will. I'm. I am at least happy that for the first time, the Democratic Party is beginning to wake up a little. The guy who was uh, the lawyer who was very concerned about this uh, vigilante uh, operation, knocking off black voters. Mark Elias was just hired this week by Kamala Harris. So at least the Democratic Party is beginning to kind of wake up a, a slightly to protect. Basically, these are their voters. That's why they're going after black people. It's not the color of their skin. It's the color of their ballot, which is blue. But, you know, don't expect a political party, Democrats or anyone, to protect your vote. You protect your vote. Let me ask you, obviously, you're an old school reporter. Uh, you don't have a skin in the game. Uh, as I tell people, vote for whoever you want. Uh, but I, I don't know you've been around longer than me. It seems that every every election we're told is the most important election of our lifetime, right? <laughs> uh, you heard Biden's you heard Biden's speech, this and that. Uh, do you think this election, based on the years of everything you've covered, uh, seems different to you? Or is this more of the same marketing branding uh, coming from both parties? Well, it is the same marketing and branding coming from both parties. And probably every election is the most important election. I mean, if you're, if you're not on, if you're not, uh, working on a uh, concern about this election, you're, you're kind of nuts, but, uh, but, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, it's not 1933. This is, uh, we serve, I I'm, I'm old enough to remember. I, I was literally, uh, my first election was <laughs> Nixon versus Humphrey. And, uh, we survived Richard Nixon. I mean, um, 3 million Vietnamese did not survive Richard Nixon. That was a, damn important election. Um, and, you know, we survived a, a term of Trump as well, kind of. Well, a million Americans died of COVID, so they didn't survive. But um, so it's, yeah, so, it, you know, is there such thing as a not important election? I don't think that that exists. That's why I'm doing this work. And I, I wish I didn't have to. I started doing these investigations of racial vote suppression, knocking off black voters. Uh, in the year 2000, Bush v. Gore. And that's where I started. I thought, I, I can't believe that here in 2024, I'm doing it again. Absolutely. And uh, my last question, uh, can you kind of talk about uh, outside of the vigilante uh, film and the things you're finding, are there other things going on right now too? Because we know you know, hundreds of thousands of voters were purged by Brian Kemp in Georgia years ago. Uh, we know in Florida in 2000, I mean, it wasn't just the Supreme Court. They purged black voters. Uh, right. Are you investigating and seeing uh, some of those uh, issues? Oh, yeah. Happening now? Uh, I wish I could say that that this new v scheme of vigilantes. And by the way, true, the vote went from 88 vigilantes two years ago in Georgia. Are you ready for this? They've signed up 40,000 people to act as vigilantes. They've already purged. 850, not purged, they've already challenged 851,000 voters already, and it's just August. Um, and yes, are there other tricks? Well, in the film Vigilantes, Inc., we do talk about a lot of those other tricks. Um, and, you know, like when you talk about purging the voter rolls, I was there and you saw this one woman say, this one black woman in my trailer saying to come out here and be told you can't vote. Well, that was a case in which the state had purged her grandmother. Her grandmother was, I was there at the polls when her grandmother, 92 years old, was thrown out of the polling station, said, you're not on the list, you can't vote here. Her grandmother had been voting since 1968 at the same place. She's Martin Luther King's cousin. They literally would not let Martin Luther King's cousin 92 years old, let her vote. It was her 50th year of voting. Well, 
she didn't get it. So this is that's how we're going backwards. The year her cousin Martin Luther King was murdered, that's the year she was able to register in Georgia. So it's not, but this is game is going on all over the country, not just Georgia. I mean, Wisconsin, Michigan, et cetera. It's purging the voter rolls, blocking voters, you know, the endless long lines. Um, and even like, you know, as Larry David shows in Curb Your Enthusiasm, you know, and uh, in Georgia, if you give someone a bottle of water, a slice of pizza while they're waiting five hours in line in the heat there, um, you go to prison. It's no joke. You really do. Right. Uh, Greg Powers, thank you so much. Tell people again uh, where they could get the film uh, for free if they want in September. Yes. In, uh, in a few weeks, you'll be able to you can sign up now at gregpalace.com. That's G-R-E-G-P-A-L-A-S-T.com. Or you can go to Twitter, Greg underscore Palast uh, on uh, the site formerly known as Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> and and on September 13th, we'll send you a link to uh, for free to download the film. Absolutely. Thanks for taking the time. We'll stay in touch. Fantastic. See you then.